Hi, I'm here today to show you my favorite Zippo trick, my Zippo lighter trick, and I'll just get right into it. Here it is. You have the lighter, got it open, fire it up, and you have the flame. What you want to do is you want to take the flame away and give it back. Take the flame away, it's back. Take the flame away, back, way, back, whoop, there you go. And if you noticed like the last time, I didn't actually need to snap my fingers or do anything with my hand. After I take the flame away, this hand's doing nothing. It's actually, the flame is still there. The flame is still inside it. It's just that I'm bringing it back by shaking it. So here you go. Whoop, now it's getting hot. It's gone. Three, two, one. Sorry, I went one, two, three. Whoop, there it is. Uh, yeah, so that's it. That's my favorite Zippo trick, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So what we're doing here is we're taking a regular Zippo and you have here like this and inside the chimney there's a wick and normally the wick is just going straight up. So the fuel goes up the wick, that burns, there's a flame on top, you put it out, that's totally normal, just like a uh, candle. And but what we're going to do instead is we're going to curve the wick this way. All you need to do is give it a push, pencil, screwdriver, whatever, so it's curved. And what happens is this means that when it's burning, there's a flame up top, there's also a tiny, teeny, tiny little flame below caught underneath the wick. So what you do is you pull away the flame up top by pinching it off, just killing it, but there's still a flame underneath. And any kind of little shake in here, like whoop, airflow, moving it, and that little flame will then get out and come up into a big flame again. And that's it. That's the whole trick. A variation of the trick is instead of shaking this, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna give a tiny bit of airflow to the wick. So you have it here, you have it up, so it's lit. The flame is gone. I'm just gonna push some air to it. Now I didn't actually shake the Zippo, maybe like a tiny bit, because both of my hands are you know, moving together, but it was primarily from the other hand. So again, gone, there it is. And that's it, it's my favorite Zippo trick. And one more thing, I almost forgot to mention, the name of this trick is called the Twilight Zone trick. And it was created by Ala Jabri. I don't know who the person is exactly, but I can put the name like right down here. You can see it. Yeah, so thanks for taking the time to watch this. If you like this, please like, please subscribe, and yeah.